Should we get on TRT? I don't know. Let's see your <laughs> blood work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> How's your dick function? You have morning wood still? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Libido solid. Yeah. How can you tell if your libido solid? You like you, you want, still want to have sex? You want a pork? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> do, are you saying if you don't have those things, then probably That's like TRT. a symptom of right, right. Like maybe looking at things further. I got my yeah. testosterone levels checked. They're fine. What are they, though? Uh, I have it right here. What, what would you guess? Just by... <laughs> I don't know. Just by like how cool I am. You could have super high tests, but if you don't lift or you know eat properly, you could still look like nothing. So. Well, I mean, like clearly, you know, I'm a, like an alpha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Derek's really afraid of you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly, my fasting glucose is ninety. Okay. My liver health is thirty. That is not an accurate statement. What you just said. Why? Because that's not a marker. You're just saying my liver health is 30. <laughs> ALT. 30 what? ALT. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have to remember Cody. AST um, is 22. Okay. Is there, are those good or bad? It's not bad. Yeah. When Cody sees commercials, he believes everything. So he went and got one of these, like, you know, panels at one do of these. Do you want me to, like, scroll through it? Or do you want it, to It's just on, it's, on random this app, it's on this app. So it's like, oh. it's not actual, like, it's all displayed all pretty. It's so like I said, okay. he will fall for any scam. Mm -hmm. This is just some guy putting yeah. numbers into charts. Was this like a sponsor or somebody you went and paid for? Like, what is this? He paid. This, no, 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 no. This is just like my doctor. I just pay, I pay for this like private doctor uh, service. If you want really elaborate blood work, I could get you a... Uh... I do want to do that. Okay. I think, like, is yeah. that beneficial even for someone who's like not on drugs just to like figure out yeah, where even you are? For me, even if you're somebody who is doing nothing and you think you're totally healthy, I think getting a baseline elaborate panel is always warranted because then if something gets fucked up, mm -hmm. you can then retroactively assess what went awry and is causing you to be this way now. I actually would like to do the same because uh, my old man got the big C cancer mm. and uh, he could have maybe caught it mm -hmm. if he, when he noticed his test levels mm -hmm. down a little bit. Yeah, I'll get you guys an elaborate panel. My company's called Merrick Health. It's like full preventative medicine, broad That's spectrum. Your company? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Our, our man. How are things going business wise? Really good. Yeah. yeah. Wait, hold up. This valid, it's not even a joke now. What? You're our doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Can, can we do this? Yeah. No, yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Fuck yeah. I'm stoked. Yeah, my, uh, my, the only two, like, blood panels i hesitate to even call them that but i went and got my test checked two times and the scores were so variably different that i have no clue what i actually have yeah the problem is there's so little information around this stuff too like for example like the difference between free tests and total tests even the time of day you get the test could massively impact yeah. what your level is uh. yeah and so it's just it's a snapshot in time of what's going on right now but that could be influenced by a myriad of factors that you have mm -hmm. to have the context on to actually develop a more informed assessment of your current state of health. And so yeah. your pa your panel accounts for that. Yeah. Okay. And even and if you your... had a, even if you had a low test level, we would be able to look upstream and see why do you have the low test? Is it because of uh, suboptimal signaling from your brain to your testes, or your testes literally unresponsive? Because they're different. Some people haphazardly get on TRT and they don't actually need it. Mm. And they end up reliant on it, you know, forever. Because some, some doctor who wanted to prescribe them something and make a markup on a medication. Because once you're on it, you're like pretty much on it for life. So it's a pretty good like passive revenue model. Interesting. So, you know, so, some clinics exist to just like prescribe shit. And they'll be like, oh, you know, you don't feel great. You have a 300 test. It's not great for your age. You should probably get on, get on this forever. Wow, dude. So why are you on it forever once you're on it? Um, like stop it, producing it or? if you actually clinically need it, you otherwise would have had a right. suboptimal state of health without it. Yeah. So it's kind of like necessary. It's not necessary, but could be depending on how bad of a state of health you're in. And then when you're on it though, it shuts down the signal from your brain to your testes. And that's why you end up with shriveled atrophy testes if you're on it and there's stuff you could do to maintain testicular function to ensure that when you want to have a kid you still have fertility which is like more nuanced but yeah it's uh very much just understanding that stuff and when you become when you start using it yeah you you're shutting down that signal so um your body no longer produces the natural 
signaling to your testes that it would have otherwise if you weren't on it. So you you are essentially reliant on synthetic hormones at that point. Is that why you're why are you on it? Because of all the you know the bodybuilding in the past, all the uh, drug cocktails and stuff. I kind of just transitioned to like a replacement model. And as you get into your thirties, like for me, I could, you know, I could potentially try and come off, but it would be a relatively arduous recovery process that right now is not really conducive to. Well, you got a lot of shit going on. So trying to (laughs) reconfigure your body at this time when you're trying to do all this work might be a a rough go. Yeah. And again, like back in the day too, it would have been nice to know like some of the things around maintaining testicular function while you're using the gear. Like not a lot of people talked about things like maybe you've heard of it, maybe not HCG while you're using your test. Yeah. What's yeah. that? It's uh, it basically is a synthetic. It's a mimetic of the signal from your brain to your testes to produce testosterone. So you could, by using it concurrently with the testosterone replacement therapy, keep your testes producing what it would have otherwise, hmm. if you still had natural function while also using the exog- exogenous testosterone. Hmm. Yeah. But they didn't tell you that, so everyone just walked around with shriveled balls that they could have otherwise avoided. My balls are too saggy, so. Yeah. Yeah. They could yeah. use a little shriveling. That's why. Yeah, I've always got to pick them up in the morning, so, you know. Yeah. I think I got some sack to give. <laughs> have you, you know who Rich Piana is? Yes. Yeah. Dude, have you ever heard his statement about why small balls are good? No. no. <sighs> Fuck. I would butcher it if I said it. But just type Can you in look it up. Rich Piana small, small balls, balls and see what comes up. <laughs> Do steroids make your balls shrink? Well, Wait, just subtle note. Doesn't he have a similar vocal tone as Steve-O? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's always fucked me up. Well, the answer is yes, they do. But let me throw this at you. Is that really a bad fucking thing? <laughs> I don't know. Let's break this shit down. <laughs> I got Kirsten here. I got a question for you. So would you prefer to see... A dick hanging lower than the balls or fucking balls hanging lower than the dick? Dick hanging lower than the balls. Of course you would rather see a dick hang lower than the balls. Now, some guys are blessed and have big fucking dicks and some guys are fucked and have little motherfucking dicks. So, the guys that... This guy's spitting (laughs) facts, dude. He's convincing you to get on gear. Dude, I'm, That's what he's doing. I'm yeah. crying at every little dick dude who was a fan of him up until this point, and they watch the, him say that sentence, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they like, they just have to just take that shit yeah. on the chin. Like, I, I bet they're like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's true, yeah. you know? Yeah. I feel like he's being kind of empathetic. No, he he's is. Like, Some no. guys are fucked. That's what I mean. <laughs> like, they're just, like, relating to him, like, speak that shit, Rich. Yeah, it's like, man, you're right. T- t- just we are kind of fucked. Talk your shit, Rich. <laughs> Having balls hanging down below your dick is not the best look. And it only makes your dick look even smaller than it is. So <laughs> I love he's breaking this down. Yeah. Like it's a complicated like theory, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, dude. This is too good. You just heard it from a hot girl, and I guarantee you every fucking girl out there is gonna say the same fucking thing. They'd rather see the dick hanging lower than the balls. Having the balls shrink maybe 20 to 30 percent is probably a good fucking thing. In fact, not probably. It is a good fucking thing. <laughs> God damn it, dude. That's the hardest hitting two minutes I've seen on YouTube in like a little while, man. That's really good. And I love how every other word is fucking. I know. Yeah. There was like prank videos that stemmed out of this where people would go into universities and just play this as loud as they could in the middle of the study halls and stuff. It's hilarious. And all the dudes that lift are like, yeah. rich. Yes. Yeah. Just fucking, they hear the battle cry, dude. 